Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dennis Wilborn. Um, hopefully, the market today has uh, been exciting enough for you. Uh, this is uh, the Art and Science of Active Trend Trading update for um, November 19th, 2018. This is the week of Thanksgiving, so it's a short trading week. And uh, if you are joining us live on Facebook, welcome. Glad you could join us. And uh, if you could, you know, if uh, you like the content, please give us a couple of thumbs up and also just start some comments and uh, so we can have some dialogue and some uh, discussion. I'm going to jump right into this. We want to keep this to about 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, so I'm going to share my screen and away we go. <laughs> So again, welcome uh, to the Art and Science of Active Trend Trading Update. I'm Dennis Wilborn, the founder of Active Trend Trading. Today has been one of those kind of days. If Murphy's Law for Trading could come, uh, it was in, a, in effect, it certainly was today. That is, when you start a trade, if something could and can go wrong, it certainly did. And that's only what happened today. So uh, I want to remind you that all the materials we do present are for trading purposes. All our traders should always be able to trade any new method prior to the risk of their own personal capital. At Active Trend Trading, our, our uh, motto is, is basically we want to, be, to clarify, simplify, so we can help everybody multiply uh, their accounts. I learned how to trade back when I was still working 10 to 11 to 12 hours a day, six to seven days a week. And uh, what I uh, came across to me at that time as I developed those skills is that there's a lot of people out there that are still working for a living who would like to be able to trade and generate, you know, maybe it's just a little bit of income. Maybe it's, uh, uh, you know, get to the place where their income trading can replace their working income. Now, if that's the case, I want to make it as simple on uh, folks as they possibly can. And so let's go ahead and get started in today's session. I'm going to stop my video. I'll, I'll check back in with you before we close, but let's get in and get going. Uh, the intent of today's uh, video is to basically weekly update video to accompany the newsletter. This will be posted to the Active Trend Trading uh, uh, website. Uh, I cover market techni technicals uh, um, for members who are uh, uh, joining us. I do offer them the opportunity to take a look at some bonus setups. Uh, these are free setups that I'm looking at. And you have to be an active trend trading member. Uh, now, not the premium members, just a free member. So you can go to our website, check on membership, and it'll give you an opportunity to uh, uh, sign up for this free service. Uh, another thing I look at is the other drivers of the current market. We'll take a look at the individual indexes today. Um, clearly, today's price action was really, really interesting, uh, especially going into the short week. Normally, a holiday week uh, is uh, tends to have a little bit of bias to the upside. Not so so much today. Uh, technical mechanical tips is the other thing that I want to do. Um, the question for today is be ready for after the sell-off, but where? Where do you want to be ready? So uh, let's answer, well, let's, let's go over to the charts first and we'll come back to this area here. Okay, I have a daily um, chart on the, correction, a weekly chart on the left. That's my anchor chart. A daily chart here on the right. This is, of course, is TNA, which is a three-time leverage ETF of the IWM or the Russell. So what did our indexes tell us today? Well, as you can see, I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of the fib on this. As you can see, price action had moved up, came back, put in what appeared to be a potential higher low, still has the potential of being a higher low on Thursday of last week. Bounced up on Friday, hit the 820 uh, moving average combo, then did a nice little sell off today. Uh, the, the low here at about 6, 267 is still in place. So as long as that remains not, you know, uh, the low, we're still working on that higher low, which is oftentimes an indication that we're, you know, that the first leg of going into a new uptrend. However, we break through that level, then we're probably gonna go back down here and test somewhere between 265, 260. Again, price action drop. Uh, on the spiders, volume down just a little bit from the two up days. What about cues? 
the, the in other words, the uh, NAS, uh, NASDAQ. There's the ETF. Now, and NASDAQ did a little bit of a harder sell off today. As you can see, it was not getting as much of a rebound and actually took out last Thursday's low. So for the NASDAQ, at least, that's indicating that, hey, I still have some, some more to fall to the downside. Uh, if you follow these squeezes, you see we have a squeeze going on here. Uh, we could, if that fires to the short side, that could be accelerators, you know, further down to the downside. Right now, we're going to be looking at the 160 level. 160 level must hold or we're going, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, sell-off will probably steepen. What about IWM? IWM, the low from last Thursday, still in effect. Bounced up to the eight, rebounded down today. Uh, so let's see it. You know, it, it last Thursday for all the indexes, the candlestick from last Thursday, and I'll blow that up for you just real quick so you can take a look at that. What that was last Thursday was basically a uh, what's called a piercing line. That is a uh, that is a bullish reversal signal on with the Japanese candlesticks. However, it remains in effect until the low of that day is would be canceling that uh, 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 that reversal signal. It's still in effect. So as long as price does not drop below, where, where is that about? Now let's go, let's go here and look. Uh, below the 148.13, as long as uh, prices do not drop below that level, the uh, 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 that piercing line is still in effect. Now let's take a real quick look at a couple of other entities that we're uh, looking at uh, for the day. Hold on just a second. I have to check one thing. Okay. Um, so, um, Again, I want to cover basically um, the index and uh, the biotech index is the in, in, in index that we are following for everybody. In other words, we will be putting out alerts on the, in the uh, this index. Uh, if you have signed up for the uh, um, the alerts as a member of the uh, so IBB, this is the non leverage uh, uh, index uh, ETF for the biotechs. As you can see, it is painting or pushing down here around support about the 101 level. Uh, if that holds, we want to be basically taking a look at trading into LABU. Now, LABU is a three-time leveraged ETF. We do not hold on to these very you know, long, like three, four, five, maybe up to two weeks. Uh, um, uh, well, actually, a little bit longer than two weeks, uh, because it it emulates the IBB and the uh, uh, biotech index. However, it does uh, get plagued with contango and backwardation a little bit, and so its value can you can lose value, even though it, the underlying uh, index is going up. So we want to keep an eye on this. Uh, right now, it's coming back down, retesting this area. We had a good signal, on, again, on Thursday, hits the eight-day moving average, rolls back over, retesting again. Same thing for IBB, similar type situation. It is retesting back in here. Now, one of the positive things about this retest, and that's why I always take a look at the non-leveraged ETF also, and it is this. is um, while we're getting a kind of like a double bottom thing or a you know testing a a, a level of support the uh, uh, we're getting some positive divergence on the uh, TSI so I'll be looking for you know is are we getting something similar in LABU and the answer to that is yes we are a little bit further down. So I'll be looking at LABU. I would like to get some kind of a reversal signal. It may get all the way back down to about 40 bucks before it does its bounce. And that's okay. We'll just we'll just pay attention to that and uh, look and see if we can jump on that when 
uh, we get another reversal signal. Right now, we're not getting a reversal signal. But just keep in mind, when even a bounce from uh, these lows back up into the 20-day moving average, that's a about a 25% gain on the LABU. That's why we're focusing on it. So let's run over back over here to our screen. So um, here's basically what I'm looking at is okay, be ready for after the sell off, but where? One, identify the levels of support. Like I just did there for LABU, we know where support is. Just like we did for uh, uh, TNA, just like we did for um, um, uh, IWM, we know where the support is. Now the question is, is the support going to hold? One of the rules that I like to practice is I don't want to buy the lower low in, in a most recent you know, downtrend unless it is finding a level of strong support. Now, both uh, IWM, see what it's doing after hours here. Yeah, it's actually up after hours, but IWM, I'll pop that up for us and we'll go back to that. And you'll see that it was finding support down about the 148 level. And then I have to also want to take a look at, okay, what's the long-term trend? If the long-term trend is up, then I want to be looking towards the, you know, trading to the upside. If the long-term trend, however, is down, we may be wanting to trade, you know, waiting for price actions to move up into the moving averages and then take a downward trade from there. So that's basically the way that is done. Let's take a look here. As you can see, long-term, yeah, long-term um, IWM or the Russell still in kind of a down, uh, in an uptrend. It is coming back and retesting. It's done a really nice pullback down to this level here. What is that level? About 144.50 approximately or 145. Did a rebound, hit the 34, reverse down. And we'll see if this level, if this level here holds. If it holds, great. That will be indicate that, hey, we now have a higher low in place and we anticipate a move back up here into approximately the 159 to 160 level. That will keep symmetry with this move over here from this level to this level. The same level of our uh, magnitude of move would take us from here, which is about, uh, where are we? 148 all the way up to 160. Now you can do the math for yourself on the, the TNA trade. So, okay. Uh, the other way we're going to want to do is identify these levels of support is basically just to identify where price is moving up from or down from. And typically, if you're in a downtrend, we're looking for it to hit resistance and drop, hit resistance and drop. If we're in an uptrend, hit support and bounce or thrust upwards, hit support thrust upwards, and when it goes to the horizontal or the, the range bound trade, you'll identify a level of support and a level of resistance and attempt to trade between them. One of the things that, this is one of the reasons why I offer to give triggers for LABU is these the moves that this thing makes is phenomenal, okay? We wanna wait for the winners. In the last two years, we've had five runs in two years, all of them uh, average about 76%. Now, are we going to capture all of that 76%? No. But if I can capture the middle part of those, the middle half where I'm picking up 30 to 35%, that will basically really provide us tremendous propulsion for our uh, 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 trading accounts going forward. And so if it's well worth waiting for. We identify what we want to do and we push from there. So uh, here's one of the other things that I offer for everybody on the website. Uh, and it is three uh, premium uh, watch list. One of them is what I call the composite watch list. What I do is I go and I get all the uh, stocks that showed up on the IBD watch list, all 13 of them for the week. I comprise those into a secondary watch list that compares how many of the, how many, uh, for these stocks, how many lists did they appear on? And if they appeared on more than two, I sort that into a separate, um, a separate uh, watch list. 
and that's provided on the watch list. What does that do for you as a trader? Well, one, there's a thought at least that the more list a stock shows up on, the more interest there is at the institutional level or its, you know, its popularity. Therefore, if you know which ones are highlighted the most, wait for a potential buying opportunity on those stocks. And it also helps clean up the watch list. Clean up the watch list it takes it from uh, over in excess of 500 plus to about 50 or 60 uh, 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 stocks. Crude oil, I'm watching crude oil. Crude oil tends in November to take a big dive and then bottom here in that you know, December time frame. Just remember what part of year we're in. Um, while crude oil tends to be dropping this time of year, of course, our other stocks tend to be going into a Santa Claus rally. So we keeping our eye on for that, out for that, and that's where we'll be trading LABU. Here's an example of this, Russell. Russell tends to pull back into the middle, you know, pull back a little bit first start of November, then goes Santa Claus rally. And we'll see if this takes place this year because we're actually, you know, we're getting a really you know, pretty significant pullback. A lot of moving parts out there in the indexes. Um, a lot of things affecting Russell, the, the, uh, the spider, the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, today's big, you know, dust up, appeared to be due to uh, issues with uh, the uh, continuation of the Chinese uh, trade war. And so, as you know, as long as uh, uh, our president continues to work his thumbs as he's doing his tweets, that isn't enough sometimes to drive the market. But we're not trading President Trump's tweets. We're looking at the charts and seeing what's going on there. Uh, again, hey, market action points, uh, it's going to be out in November for non-EWA members. Uh, we had to slide the dates just a little bit. So it'll be coming out into next week a little bit. We currently have had two uh, 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 signals. The, today's market with its volatility uh, did push us around a little bit from our entry. We did, made it a, a week or so ago. Uh, so you're gonna be given an opportunity to join, become a charter member of this entity. You get it at a very deep discounted uh, price point. And, uh, but it's, uh, we're really pleased with how well and what this, uh, uh, this timing service has been doing and how well it's been doing it. Lastly, uh, here's where we're sitting uh, for the year. We're up about 33%. I'm targeting 40% for the year. That's what I've done for several years go, moving. Uh, moving into next year, I, I encourage you to become an active trend trader premium member. We're gonna be focusing primarily on our seven, Magnificent Seven, leverage ETFs, and I think that we can beat 40% per, per year. Um, I'm not gonna say what my uh, objective is. Well, I am, it's gonna be somewhere about 55 to 60%. Just simply keeping it simple, trading those, those leveraged ETFs that I call the Magnificent Seven. And um, one of those Magnificent Seven, of course, is LABU but you need to become a premium member if you want to take advantage of all the other ones also. So how do we do that? Well, uh, at least for a little bit here, we are going to be having a uh, last chance to become a premium member before the prices go up. And uh, you say basically 40% off the 70, off the 74.99 monthly uh, membership. So it's 44.99. You go here to this website here, type in bonus, because because that's what unlocks that uh, uh, special pricing for you. Type in bonus, it's all caps. Uh, and I encourage you to join prior to, well, I encourage you to join as soon as possible. Sometime in December, prices are going up. So, hey, as always, my friends, if you want to get a hold of me, you can reach me here, my email, dww at activetrendtrading.com or www facebook.com slash active trend trading. As always, trade wisely, trade profitably, take time to enjoy the journey, have a great Thanksgiving. And again, if you liked this presentation, please give us a thumbs up and I will sign off by just saying aloha and God bless everybody. I look forward to seeing you after Thanksgiving. Goodbye all.